bass. <laughs> Chuck, we need to have rock bass. We I live rock for bass. rock bass. All right, fine, rock bass too. <laughs> is there any? Is there any uh, fish reports on the walls in there? Uh, it just says for a good time call 218-820 Toby. <laughs> <laughs> So largest walleye, largest pike, largest smallie, largest bass, wall, or large mouth. Is that the only kind of bass? That's, that's good. I don't know. I have no idea. All right. We were about food. No extra species. to see what unfolds you know it's kind of nice to be on a new lake and nobody have any prior knowledge although I'm sure some of these guys cheated and you know we're especially local guys like Chuck and Chris were probably you know reaching out to their buddies and seeing what uh, what works and what doesn't but as long as I'm gonna benefit from the uh, cheating I don't have a problem with it so should be fun How was the night fishing on this lake last night? Great. Yeah. Gonna do that Take for two. six hours. Take two. <laughs> Go, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Guiding, while to some people on the outside it might seem like a glamorous thing, it's a lot of work. But every time somebody steps into my boat for a guide trip, it's it's their trip. This is their trip. And spending the day on the water with people, it's just truly really a dream come true. It's just truly special experience. Setting the hook, netting the fish high-fiving people, and that's truly the passion. Yeah. What drives me is fishing different species and making memories with people. It's, it's a phenomenal thing. And that's what keeps me coming back. That's what fuels my fire for guiding. Every day is something new, and seeing the smiles on people's faces when they catch that personal best makes it all worthwhile. 
and I love watching kids get addicted to uh, fishing. We are a family. Between all of us, we spend countless hours on the water. And at the end of the day, it's about making sure that the people that were in your boat learned something and enjoyed that experience and made some memories along the way. Get him. There you go. The Guide Life with Leisure Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by these great partners. So this is, a, this is absolutely a new lake that I've ever, never been to. And uh, we have three sections. We have quadrant one, which is includes this bay where we're sitting right now. Comes out to this point around, around this little flat in here. So for two hours, we have to try to catch four species somewhere in this bay. And then we have a line through here that splits the lake from uh, west and east. And that's quadrant two and quadrant three. So we're gonna rotate. We have two hours here, two hours there, two hours there to catch the biggest fish of four species, smallmouth, largemouth, pike. If there is a rogue muskie, that would continue, I'm assuming that would count for that species, and then a walleye. And if you happen to get all four in each of the three, that's an extra bonus points, which will be added to your inches at the total end of the, uh, it's cumulative. So the sum of total inches between those four species, plus six, if you get four in each quadrant. That's what we're doing. We're starting right here. Go time. Drive around a little bit, just kind of fish look for location bait. presentation. Yeah. Find the bait, gives us clues. Species, largemouth probably be a little shallower. Wherever that shallow stuff is, that's where largemouth bass is. Maybe a dock around the shallow flats and weeds. Smallies, rocks, sand transition a little deeper. Rocks, deeper. They might be suspended even out out over deeper water. Pike should be off the edges. Walleye should be off the edges, and or suspended. That's just really we're fishing Walker Bay, right? Let's go fish them. Alright, let's go. I'm not really sure, we just picked the first spot here close to a sunken island here with looks like maybe a mud bottom out off the edge. 
We're gonna try to work both of them at the same time. Got a few fish hanging out right on the edge there. The mud bottom here, and then you can see as it comes up on the top, it doesn't look like a lot of weeds, but some kind of vegetation up there. I can see a tail on that fish right there. I'm gonna to try to get close and catch him with a bobber. swearing yet <laughs> he was he was working on it as they were idling out was he yeah <laughs> I may or may not have unhooked the power from one of Murph's graphs a little payback from a few years ago well, it's because someone took it out right before yeah I think maybe Jim had a hand in that too so but he's on my team now. How long do you give him on these? Well, depending on how it bit. I'd give him, I mean, how did a bite? Just like, boom, and then? No. Just like a, a boom? Like a how perch. Big, how big of a? Uh, about the same size as yours. That big? Yeah. Uh -huh. I just stopped. It's getting, we're getting tired. Was a perfect like da like a walleye bite. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't. I gave it a second before I let my yeah, finger so go. Oh, well, there's take him. Oh. I'll just take him now. He felt you. Fish on. No. Huh? Fish there. But... Growing up, Bob? Yeah, it's getting a little bigger. What side are you coming on? This side? Oh, yeah. Take your time. We might have a gator. Or it's a big pig walleye. You never know. Ooh. Did you get stuck in something? Or is it just. Weeds, the weeds fight hard in this big sand lake. Seriously? I don't know if he's down in the sand grass or what. <laughs> what the heck? Is it moving? He must have. He must have oh, there we go. Smallie. Large mouth? Large mouth. Is it a large? Oh. A smallie. Look at that. Large <laughs> mouth. <huh? laughs> that thing fought like a madman. Yeah, man. no kidding. <laughs> Look at that, huh? <laughs> That's a good start, Bobby. Yeah, it'll work, huh? I'll Got some pliers there, Murph. Yeah. Got the legend, Murph. <laughs> Puts us on some fish. Oh, Captain, here, you want to grab a Murph? Yeah. All right, Bob Weeks, fishing with Aaron Murphy, Leisure Outdoor Adventures Guides. We're uh, starting off our morning of guide wars here. Not a terrible start. Um, fishing some real deep sand grass, so you never know what you're gonna get. Could be a northern, could be some walleyes. Uh, we start off the morning with a nice largemouth. It's yeah, gonna. So the play. last minute decision was made this morning to. Uh, to separate out largemouth and smallmouth on part of our point system. So, 19 and a half. Okay, go ahead. Throw it back for me, Murph. Have a do over, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. All right, we're off to start Guide Wars 2022. I think we got, I think we got a good chance of getting, getting some points out of that one, buddy. I don't know. It's hard telling with this way. I've got all kinds of giants. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. All right, let's get another one, Murph. Yeah. Sure. No, 
ninety percent sure. Looks like a walleye oh, to me. That is a walleye. Nice work. <laughs> Woo! That right away. Nice work. Heck, that's awesome. We'll take that. Good way to start the day. Yeah. We should uh, we should take a minute this morning to cover the banana in the boat. <laughs> oh, did so? Did oh yeah? Did uh, did Toby end up finding that? Uh, well, I mean, I left it right on the bow, right next to the trolling motor. <laughs> so, for those of you that are unaware, a banana in a boat is bad juju. I mean, it's just nothing good can come of it. And uh, Toby. He's calling himself a boat captain this morning, but uh, he didn't know where the access was. He didn't know what lake we were fishing. He didn't know what the quadrants were. He didn't know the rules. He's changing the rules last minute. And uh, I think the problem was he was distracted by trying to get a banana in everybody's boat except for his. So lo and behold, we made sure that the banana ended up in his boat. So they will go fishless today, uh, thanks to the banana that he started with. And uh, we're off to a good start. I'm gonna get another one. All right, we're gonna see. What do we we can round up to the nearest quarter inch? Yeah. Okay, so 22 and a quarter. Okay, I'll put it in my phone. Okay. Oh, he didn't zero. That looks good right there. God, this is a deep lake. I gotta get my depth finder to work. Don't know what it is. Could be a bass, could be a walleye. Picked it up like like a walleye would, but like never being on this lake, never been to this spot. <laughs> we'll see what it is. Oh, son of a gun, it came off. Never, I just felt boop, come right out of his mouth. Never had it. Let's see. Fish right on those rocks right there. 20 feet behind the boat. Two more fish right there. It'll help if I zoomed in a little bit. We're in musky mode. He just ate it. We grabbed it. Come on. He bonked it once. <laughs> Wonder if we all I'll just rig up slip bobbers and set them at 20 feet and <laughs> there's around. well there's fish all around out here. Yeah, they're up in the they look like decent fish. Bobber rods off more than these are small fish. That's small fish. Fish? Oh, snagged a small nice. mouth. On the board. On the board. That one hooks in the lip. Yeah, it has on the lip. Keep it like that. <laughs> Show the camera. The cameraman's behind you there. Jesus. Yellow. It's a really big bait. Don't let it throw you off. We got one species though. Better measure it. <laughs> Got a picture. Where are they at, Toby? Uh, right on that side of the hole. Right back there. Some 
Stop into Ray's Sport and Marine today to check out our remaining 2022 in stock inventory or place your 2023 order with guaranteed price lock until September 1st. After September 1st, prices are subject to change, so now is the time to reserve your new boat. From tillers to side councils and full windshield models, we sell them all. Our sales and service team is here to help you get on the water. Ray Sport and Marine, 896 Northeast 1st Street, Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Better? Something little. Oh. Rock bass. Rock bass. I just hit. Mine was not a rock bass. Yeah, I'm gonna get him unhooked first. <clears throat> if I can. There it goes. If you want to just lay that down, I'll grab that. Beauty right there. Better one? We're in a rock mask over here. So you come on these humps out here and it is millions of rock bass. Okay, let's get out here. Let's just go until we see a bigger fish. Oh, that's good. That's really good. That's really good. It's running. Come on. Oh, no. How did I do that? Oh. Oh. Bobby. Oh, busted bit you off? That's like clean. That's not even. That's just a clean break. Oh. Uh, Use this 10 Use this 10 floral. Well, there's a gator swimming around that's a little less hungry right now. And that's that's another thing we need to catch too. Yeah. It's right on it. Net. Pike. They said they were good pike in here. Fuck the Peter. Jeez. <laughs> All right. We got a pike. Species fish number one, northern pike. Is that East Sox Lucius? Is that what that is? Whitney? Yeah, it's like the cousin of the musky. Yeah. 25. Oh, hold on. Touching on this end. Yeah, we just keep her at 25. Yeah, 25. And for the release. See you, buddy. Champ swimmer. On the board. On the board. Hey, Nix. Oh, we're good. All right. 
Catch one yet, guys? There's still more fish there? Yeah. Then a lot of the area lakes, you know, like for, for example, up Cata, you know, they're always around those deep rocks, but sometimes they act up on rocks out here, but uh, not often. Okay. It's, uh, kind of a unique, unique lake. Rock path? That's a bit of a smally, maybe. Coming up. Um. Okay, well, if those other two boats come by you, don't give them don't any talk information. To them. <laughs> or the wrong information. <laughs> Tell them two feet of water, it's really tough. You got a large mouth. Boom! <laughs> Maybe didn't, after it thumped, didn't run or nothing. No, well, there goes nothing. There you go. I said uh, I would leave Murph on his own, yeah, but, but uh, it's not very big. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's a what is it? oh, a gator. Oh. Get him, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Although we got to measure it because it's a, it is a northern. It, it is a new species. We have to go over to that third yep. for two hours, then over here for two hours, and we're all rotating. So. Chunky. We got to get a measure on him. Where's the stick? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, we got a pike and a bass, yeah. so now we need a uh, small and a walleye, and we're good for this one. Right on the nose. Where we at? Yeah. Where are we at, bud? 15 and 3 quarter, 16. Yeah. 15 and 3 quarters, we round up on that then? If it's yeah. over, over, then over. So. Yeah, that's over. That's over, right? 16. Go to 16. Especially yeah. when the sun yeah. gets high, it's crystal you see clear. It. Got yeah. the large mouth. Nice one, Jeremiah. Nice one. Yeah. Very nice. Let's get a few more. Thank you. Sounds great. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, let's get a measurement here. Giant gator. It is 20 and a quarter. Nice work, Murph. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Now we gotta get a walleye, Bob. Yeah. And the release. Shoot. Let down the team. Sorry, guys. It was probably only 22 and a half yeah. versus 22 and a quarter. Yeah, it, it looks short. <laughs> I thought it looked about 24, 25. Yeah. <laughs> sure there's, there's more something. of them out here. I know there is. I had, there's one great big one. He came charging right when you set the hook. Oh, you dropped, just smacked it like you dropped breaks. right, let it hit the bottom once because they're right on, they're all over you right now. There you I was gonna say they're definitely in the clam net. Beautiful. Look at that. Thanks, Jim. Yep. You got her. Yeehaw. Oh, come 
on now. Well, if we were looking to fill a box, these would be perfect. Big shout out to TJ, you guys on uh, in the Park Rapids Lake here, a lakes here area here. Him and Jason Durham, and and uh, he just uh, he fishes the. Oh, we got a fish on. What do we got? Little Rocky, Rococo, sunfish, scumfish. Bluegill, nice one, dude. A little bit of everything out here. Nice little sunny. Round it out. We have sunny rock bass, pike, largemouth, baby smallmouth. Yeah, cool little lake. So, anyways, we just got the we just got the uh, inside scoop from the local guide, and now he's promised he won't share with any of the other guides. <laughs> so, kudos to those guys, and thank you very much. So we're dialed. We got All it. we got to do now is throw a big minnow out the back and drag it around 30 feet, and we'll get a bigger pike. But he said the walleyes and the smallies are prevalent so we got two species that I was worried about first quadrant one so that was a nice large it's not bad 16 yeah. inches is that what it was yeah beautiful right back good start 35 feet let's go that's good though what bobber do you want on there I've got the bobber and everything I just need a bobber oh, stop. Gotcha. Okay. That's the here. here here you go Jim <laughs> Let me untangle that. <laughs> Why don't you work on that for the next three hours? That's the uh, Clark and Griswold <laughs> slip bobber setup right there. A little bit better. Feels better. Staying down nice. You bought a 30 inch walleye. Yeah, it is a walleye. Is it? Super tanker though. Huh? I don't think it's a super tanker. No, I don't think walleye. so. It's a decent one. Here we go. Nice. <laughs> we are rocking and rolling, baby! Yeah! So, uh, Frito asked me about, about teams, and I'm like, I don't know, but I want Chris Whitney. And Jeremiah, because I know those are multi-species sticks. So, <laughs> you know, Jeff Anderson and Toby Kvalivog are luckily to be owners of this awesome group. And I don't know if I had any pull or not, but Get I got this one on first, the board. I got my first round draft picks. <laughs> what do we got? Twenty. Twenty inch. Twenty right on the nose. That's a, that's a slot fish. Go. Yeah, it's a nice one. These are going back, right? It was 20 to 28, go back. Yeah. Nice. Nice. One to go. Small mo. Somebody catch a small mo. shouldn't be hard to get up. Developed from the latest technology, Blackfish Technical Apparel outperforms, so anglers have gear that they can trust in, no matter the conditions.
that one wants it. You might want to save some dough today and buy a grill that has hidden stock because the stuff that's coming in that's going up pretty good. Really good. Right? You know, just that 80% situation. Put a quality in? I don't know, it's just running. It's got to be a small one. What in the hell do you have going on there, buddy? <laughs> we got your line. Oh. <laughs> oh, <Bobby. laughs> Thing took a ran. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We're gonna have to just bite yours. Yeah. Look at that little guy. <laughs> we don't have to measure this, do we? No, I don't think so. No, because it was but, total inches, yeah. right? With all the fish? Is it all oh, the fish? I thought it was... Just uh, the biggest. It's just the biggest. It's just the biggest, right? That's yeah. A, that's a smallie, though. That's a large mouth. Oh, that's a large one? Yeah. Okay, no good. All right, Bob, did you cut yours? Not yet. That's scissors right here. Got some help there, yeah. Huh? Oh, nice little walleye. I don't think that's gonna beat your 22er, but negative. Solid fish, though. Is that what we're fishing, do you think? Oh. BC ate that one. Yeah. Maybe 20 inches. Skinny. That was my rod. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me when my bobber went under. <laughs> Can I fish on that side of the boat? <laughs> I got him. Look at that. <laughs> Guide Wars, baby. <laughs> Look at that. That's, I don't even that's think, a record. I don't even think I can long arm that one. <laughs> <laughs> Camera adds 10 pounds to everything but the fish I catch. Hot water work, tied up. I do have a frog. Here's a little guide tip. You get these millions of crawler crawlers or leech containers. They fit perfectly for your line spool. Put a little hole in there. Forever keep your lines nice and clean. Jeremiah should try that. Wouldn't have tangles in your line. This is the one that I'm fishing with. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fluorocarbon All right. leader. Flero. Middle. Big chub. Measure it. Big pipe coming up. Go around and net. Needed it. Needed it. Hand me that bobber rod. You can go around the uh, storage. Yeah. Zero. Oops. Actually, let's go this way. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right on my finger there. 
12. Barely over 12? Yeah, 12 and a quarter or whatever. I don't know what they call that. It's Molly. Moving on up. Yep. So far, the drop shot's kind of taking the prize. <laughs> They're liking that. Berkeley. Oh, that's Chris. Chris coming by that bobber. It's on right handed reel. Did it run with it, Bob? A little bit, yeah. Now, is it just hold tight? Oh, there we go. It's still. Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> it's a mystery lake. Can we pull a walleye out in a clutch of the... Uh... And we're down to what? How many minutes we got? Yeah, I mean, we're like right near the bell. 9.23. I don't think it's a walleye, but... Come on, Bob. Think positive here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to swing around here. Come over here. Three quarter if we use a real ruler. About 12 and a half. 12 and three quarter. It's over 12 and a half, so 12 and three quarter. Upgrade. Upgrade. Thanks. Guys, we got a little program going on over here. Well, we if it's bigger than 20 inches, this is a win. It's, oh, that's a walleye. It's a walleye. We got a walleye. Yep. Right tip up, Bob. <laughs> oh, right. oh, look at the pike. Oh, Did you that see that gator? Did you see that gator? Yeah, I did. I, you sure it was a gator? I thought it was a muskie. It might have been a muskie, actually. <laughs> All right, came through in the clutch, <laughs> huh? It just came out. <laughs> that boy, Bob. Wow. <laughs> the fish was at least forty inches. That, oh, it was. A, that was a muskie. Bob. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was a muskie. Yeah, it looks, it looks brown like a muskie and not, you know, green like a gator. It's like a little pool. Yeah. Got him. There we go. On a bad fish. Bleeding a little bit, so we're going to make it quick. Get a measurement and get this fish back so it can get eaten by that muskie. So what about 20? Oh, hold on. Oh. Oh. Twenty one and a quarter. So we're rounding up. Yeah. So it's twenty one and a. That'd be twenty one and a half. Okay. Get it back in. All right. Drop shot going. Pretty much caught everything other than the pike. We got here at the right time. Spot. When there was fish everywhere up on the top edge. Now they're going to be all deep. I think we yeah. need to find some bigger bass. Yeah, like big schools of like 30 fish. Yeah, I don't think we have any fish that we need yet. Well, the 16 is large, maybe, I don't know. I feel like that's going to be the hardest species in pike to catch. 20 inch walleye is a nice one, but there's probably a lot of those in there. Who knows? So, nice, do we have it's a nice up multi species. Like, do we have up to that buoy? We're as far as we're supposed to go. Away, we can go anywhere that way now, going like that line. So over. Pretty but much like that plane has a line coming across in front of it. Um, but up to like that buoy. Yeah, like wherever that big point is, we get about the east half of that, which like 75 yards this way, it cuts back and across. So we're done right here. Like we're in the farthest northwest part of this bay we can get. What are you thinking, Toby? 15 minutes. 
stay here, move. I think we got a for here. We got to move to. Where are we at on your map? You want to go cast those pencil reeds quick? I got a froggy top water on. Yeah, here you go. Let's go do that. Or just go in, uh, go into these docks, maybe. Just go into these docks, right? It's up. like two feet up there. They'll be in there. Would you think the deep docks would be better? Let's go there in the shallow docks. Right let's now. let's just if run up to sand. these docks. Okay. Pull that trolling motor up. It's, it's gonna hit bottom. It's like two feet. So we're uh, nearing the end of uh, the first session in uh, the first quadrant of the lake and with four minutes to spare, we uh, were able to get a 21 inch walleye in the boat. So that's exciting. But to give you the full update, we've got now three minutes to spare and um, about a 40 inch Northern followed that walleye up to the boat. And so we've got a, an even bigger Creek Chub on and um, we're gonna go down to the bell here trying to either get another walleye or uh, that big northern. So, we're having fun. Make sure you get a video of Colby trying to pull up that Taroba. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be that bad, is it? Oh, God. Get it right away. Skills. I've taken it's easy. Tightened everything. Put that ram ball back on there. No. Okay. Beef stick. Mm-hmm. Josh. I'm okay right now. Thank you, though. Okay. Jump. Huh? Beef stick. Sure. Mm. Thanks. Give me some feedback on quadrant one or wherever we are. Well, what was that one? 21, 22 and a quarter. 22 and a quarter. Just mm -hmm. a couple liters. Had one other good one on. No, no other species though. We're really not sure what we're doing out here. We're just throwing at marks. Hope they're the right fish. That's our game plan. Pretty much as simple as that. Mm -hmm. yep. That's the challenge of being on a new lake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm impressed so far. Yeah. As far as walleye fishing goes. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's just find the nicest boat on the shoreline, and we'll send Colby up there to knock on the door, find out how he catch smallies out here. That's a good idea. Send the red beard. Drive till we see a bass <laughs> boat. They might not answer if they see Colby knocking. <laughs> <laughs> Round one's coming to a close. We got 30 seconds. We've covered all our bases. We got a 12 and 12 and three quarter inch smallie. We got a 25 inch pike. We got a 20 inch walleye and a 16 inch largemouth. So we got all four for quadrant number three. We're moving on to quadrant one. We're going to meet up with the boys here in a second and see how they did. So mission accomplished. Not sure if we got the biggest fish in each category, but it doesn't really matter yet. It's at the end when that matters. So we know we got an extra six points if we get to continue this for the rest of the day. This is one quadrant, so we have a chance at that. All right, boys, lines in. Start. Not bad. Four different species, right? Five if you include the rock bass, six if you include the bluegill. That was a pumpkin seed that time, wasn't it? Oh, you got a pumpkin seed too? Where are we meeting up at?
go, boys. We're done. Limited out for the day. Nice. Way. Can we trade partners when we trade spots? Yeah. yeah. We were lucky enough to run into a local guide. <laughs> Gave us the 10-4 on what to do. So, is that two? Yeah, that's two. So we'll go to three. We'll go to one? Two. You guys go to two, we go to one. Got yep. it. All right, check in. Trash talking? <laughs> we got all four species round one. We did not. We got uh, one species round one. Yeah, walleye? Walleye. Yeah. They kind of got a walleye guy running the boat though. No, we just no. we we sat back there at the landing. Is we're gonna separate it, large and small animals. So that's but so, that, so that's different. So there's actually there's so there is four. Then. Yeah. yeah. So there's so is that for the bonus six inches at the end too? Yes. Oh. All right. That. Well, so we got three. Didn't know that uh, we'd had a set of the smallie, but you just stole all our hopes and dreams. Yeah, I did. I seen that you unplugged it, Peter. I, it didn't take me long, I, I dialed it in. Wasn't me, man. I would never do <laughs> those type of low round tricks. Uh shoot. So what what's the big wall at? Twenty. What do we got? Twenty? Twenty. We had twenty two and a quarter. What do you got? Twenty one and a half. Well we got a giant giant large mount. Nineteen and a half. And I got a giant gator also, 20 inches. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was cool, no kidding. We seen a, a 40, uh, we were reeling on that walleye, Bob was, and a 40 inch, all 40 inch northern. It was just giant. Yeah. Fall, it came falling right up. Really? It was a pig. So, whatever. Yeah, it was pretty cool. 25 inch uh, pike, 20 inch walleye, 16 inch largey, 12.75 smallmouth. Jeremiah caught everything. Right away, Jeremiah. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I drink coffee. Just, just film your own guys, I would say. Because then we'll. Well, I got both. Oh, okay. So it's 9 uh, 9.40. So we got two hours, 45. Yep. 11.45 back here. Sounds good. So who's in the lead? I didn't catch it. Yeah, you guys would be now. 20, 22 inch walleye, 19 inch largey. Right, but it's total inches. Oh, yeah. Correct. So we have 45, 61, 73.75. Plus six if we get them all for the next whatever. Yeah, but we have to get them in the, all the sections. I thought it was each round, right? No. Eight, uh, all sections to get the six. Bob, you got coordinates. What do you think, Peter? Well, I'm just. I'm got just any tips for me over here? I'm so confused over the score. I'm hey, just where should I start in this area? <laughs> <Except big pipe. laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. Best was like six to 46 feet. <laughs> Okay, that gives me that gives me a lot. Okay. You got any spots we should go? Well, so he was thinking it was if any hot spots we should go to? I thought it was six per section. We should. I, so one thing I was doing as I was pre-fishing, I was just looking at the map, picking, laying waypoints while they were fishing. We should well, uh, clarify though that the six inches isn't only. You have to catch all four in all three quadrants. But we get six for this? No. No? We have to do it again. So you gotta do that in all sections to get those six sections. Yeah. Oh, well, let's do that real quick. Yeah. One gets Troy motor. Do you have an actual game plan here? Yeah, I go to my waypoints that I just put out there. Um, if there's 
Here's a thought. If some of those fish are... Are we are we sitting in a quadrant right now? Would this be... This is ours. This is one? This is two. This is ours. We're in two. Huh? It's a squiggly line. It's kind of unclear. No, that's over there. So, I know Brian shot me one spot that was in here. So they, them guys got a small e or got a large e too? I thought they only had one walleye. No, they got they walleye. Walleye and a large, just one walleye. They said one species walleye. Big fish that are suspended. Yeah. If you did just a big wide gap like what you're saying, just cast it out over top of it and let it kind of float down to those big fish and let it chase it around. If that big pike is chasing a bass, I mean, it might yeah. eat a 10-inch creek chub like that, you know? I think that swim bait's perfect. And a creek I, chub. You've never had a motor that big, be careful. Yeah. So, I think we're looking at the same spot. We're right here. The north side of this. Put a put an X there and we'll drive right to it. So just, just I'd start looking right there. We're right next to it. Okay. Leisure Outdoor Adventures would like to thank all their sponsors for their support in making the guide life happen.